I've been reading Broken Blade, and as we are, I bet some of you are thinking about what life was like for Pierre, or some of you might be thinking what life would be like if you set out. And so this is an activity where we're going to check it out and see what would life be like as a fur trader. Now, let me take you back. You're a fur trader for the American Fur Company. You're about to set out for the winter to trap some furs. Did you know that during the 1820s and 1830s, fur was a currency? And the common currency, like today we use dollars, for fur was muskrats, also called rats. Using some math skills, you're going to answer some of the questions below to see the value for each of these trade goods. For each answer, and I cannot stress this enough, for each answer, only put the number value. You will be rounding to the tenths, but do not put any words, only the number value. If you put any sort of words, it's not going to mark it correct. That's super important. Only put down the number value. Email, of course. This image is going to be on to everything. How many rats is this kettle worth? Question one. So you'll look at the kettle and you'll try to find out where is the kettle and how many muskrats is the kettle worth? Once you know your answer, then you'll be able to go through. Put your answer here. Only that number. One kettle. 31 muskrats. Name, hair question, you know that. Now this one, if you had one beaver skin, one bear skin, could you afford to buy the kettle? So now we're going to have to find the value for the bear skin and the value of the beaver skin. Does that, is that greater to or less than the kettle? How much does a fire steel cost in dollars? So we're going to have to go through and figure out the cost of a fire steel. There's our fire steel. How much does a fire steel cost in rats? How many fire steels could you buy if you had three deer skins and one buffalo? Remember, you cannot buy a portion of a fire steel. I can't go and say I just want to buy a portion of a car or a bike. You have to buy the whole car or bike. You have to buy the whole fire steel. So you'll round down to your closest number, put your answer. How many axes would you need to trade for one trade gun? So what's the value of an ax to a trade gun? Remember in your answer boxes, you're only putting down a number. When you're done, go ahead and press submit and it will come through for me.